Ellie, I, you wrote the book on, on Bill Barr, and this is what he said about a special master reviewing documents taken from uh, the Mar-a-Lago search. He doesn't go along with what John Sale. He doesn't agree with what John Sale says. This is what he said, and then we'll talk. The opinion, I think, was wrong, and I think the government should appeal it. Uh, it it's deeply flawed in a number of ways. <clears throat> I don't think the appointment of a special uh, master is going to hold up, but even if it does, I don't see it fundamentally changing the trajectory. I, in other words, I don't think it changes the ball game so much as maybe we'll have a rain, uh, rain delay for a couple right. of innings. Well, I mean, it's partially he agrees with what John said that, you know, a rain delay for a couple of innings, but she does, he doesn't think that she got it right. What's your reaction to these comments and what is at stake here? Well, I certainly agree with both John and Bill Barr that this is a delay. This is a holdup. This is not going to determine any outcomes of the case. In terms of whether the judge got it right or wrong, let me just say this. Be wary of any blanket assertions that the judge was absolutely right or absolutely wrong. Blanket assertion here, John. Uh, this judge is absolutely fucking wrong. For one, these aren't Trump's documents, and uh, like the whole special master thing shouldn't be happening. Two, there is no post executive privilege. Obama doesn't have executive privilege. George doesn't, and so on. Trump doesn't fucking have executive privilege. The executive does. Joe Biden. I think what this judge is, did is weigh two competing factors. On the one hand, not wanting to slow down or create unnecessary burden. That's literally the only thing she's fucking doing, John. Because guess what? After the special master goes through all these documents, they're still going back to the fucking National Archives, John, because of the property of the U.S. goddamn government, you dipshit. On the other hand, as John said, let's be safe. Let's bring in a third party, independent, neutral outsider. So at a minimum, we will have an appearance here. We can tell the American public that all precautions were taken to guard the privileges. And I think the judge did a reasonable job of balancing those two. Yeah, it's so fucking safe. We're doing the ultimately safe thing right here. You know, the guy who... uh has done so much damage to our democracy and is doing more every single second. Let's give him some more time. Let's be safe and give him some time. Yeah, makes sense. You know, Bill Barr is such an interesting character in all of this. I the fuck he is? Mr. Sale, there's, there's a Friday deadline for a joint, joint filing on the special master, but these two sides haven't agreed on much, so how is this going to work? Well, I don't think they're going to agree on anything. The judge will have a candidate in mind, and hopefully it'll be a candidate of such stature that the American people will have faith in the review and faith in the judiciary. You know, I know this judge has taken a lot of criticism in the last few days. I genuinely believe what the Chief Justice said. There are no Obama judges and there are no Trump judges. Once judges take that oath, I think they call it as they see it. I think Judge Cannon has done this. Oh, yes, because uh, when judges accept their position, they become omnipotent beings who are devoid of emotion and really anything human. Uh, fuck off. Like, if a person doing a job, kind of like you're doing a job right now on the news and being dog shit at it. This is me reacting to a CNN clip. Uh, I'm going to... I fucked up names. I, I realized that after. Just doing this so haphazardly. I'm going to get better at that. I'm sorry. But, uh, this is it for now.